developing life skills while developing muscles. Disabled Dunedin High Schoolers get a workout during this week's session of the Otago Secondary School's Adaptive Sport Programme. Organisers get these teens to try out as many sports as possible throughout the year, with rowing the latest. What I try and do is organise something for each term and it can be anywhere between four and six weeks for the duration of the session. So I really want to give the students a bit of time to develop their skills um, because over a period of time it's, it's easy to forget things if you're only doing a couple of weeks. So we want to really make it at least a month sessions. O'Hagan says this facility's rowing pool is giving the workouts a unique boost. It's the only one of its kind in the South Island, so it's getting put through its paces while users develop their athletic and social ability. They get to develop relationships and social skills with other people, they meet people in a similar situation, so they enjoy coming along to see their friends that they've made friends with during the time that they've been here. And they may well come over a period of seven or eight years, so they get to know a lot of faces, which is good. O'Hagan's pleased to see an increasing number of faces attending. Numbers were modest when the programme began 10 years ago, but it's grown noticeably since then, more than doubling to the current crop of about 50 pupils. It also helps the, the people that normally do sporting activities or teaching, those sort of things, give them opportunity to work with these young people with disability, and it gives them that mutual understanding about what their needs are and how good they are as well, they have their own abilities, so it really is a mutual development and a respect. While it can take time for the skills learned here to sink in, O'Hagan says they do, and that has a life-changing effect, while fostering a love of sport. David DeLorean, 39, Dunedin News.